Hey, how's the YouTube channel going? Well, the last one kind of sucked, but I think the next one will be better. Someone at the door? Wait. I got this. Frank? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I'm delivering your goddamn mail. Isn't it a little too late for that? Yeah, it is. Oh. <laughs> well, be safe out there, man. I'll try. All right, good night, Frank. Before we get started with this build, we're going to see who the winner is for this flag today. Keep this drawing fair. I went on Google. I found a random picker, and I added everyone's name into the wheel. So it's completely random and fair. Here we go. All right, awesome. The winner is Catherine Rubb. We'll be in contact with you. And we'll get this flag shipped out ASAP. All right, let's get started with the build. I like starting all my builds off by cutting all my pieces to length. All the cuts you'll need will be posted on the screen. What I find is easiest to measure one board and put down a stop block so every other board is the same size. So here, we're going to take three of the 1x4s that we cut into 14 and 3 quarters. We're going to glue them together and that will make the union.
We're gonna clamp this down and set it to the side for the glue to dry. Now we're gonna make the three cabinet doors using long stripes, the short stripes, and union. Now that the glue's dry, we have some rough edges on our union, so we're gonna sand that down to make it even. I like to start with 80 grit and then jump up to 320 grit. You don't need to do 320, but I just like to finish. Now we're gonna burn our union. We're going to burn the front of this dark and the back of it light. This will help to prevent any cupping. If your board does cup, just burn the back a little more. It'll pull the grains together and should flatten it out. Now we're going to pop this on the CNC. I pre-programmed the stars to be V cut with an RC45 cutter. Link in the description. The CNC that I use is the Shapioko Extra Large. It's made by Carbide 3D. The trick with the CNC is making sure your board is completely flat, but, but we'll touch on that in another video. In a future video, we'll also do a full review on the Shapioko Extra Large. As in the previous video, red stripes or dark stripes, we're going to burn heavy, and for the white stripes or the light ones, we're going to burn light. For the side pieces of the box, we're going to burn those light, but you can pretty much burn them whatever you think looks best. We're going to take our long stripes and line them up correctly. Then we're going to flip them over and we're going to start making our marks for the pocket holes. But what I always make sure is to stagger my pocket holes. This pocket hole jig I got at Harbor Freight. It's similar to the Craig K4 jig. I'll link to Craig in the description below. We're also going to be putting pocket holes on the inside corners of the long parts of the box. When using the pocket hole jig, it's common to get a lot of burrs. Just sand it down and you'll be fine. When you're gluing your boards, try to use a small bead to prevent squeeze out when you clamp the stripes together. Now we're going to assemble the frame for our box. We're going to take our two short pieces and our two long pieces and line them up. Remember, pocket holes go on the inside. To add the shelf, we're going to take our last 34 and a half inch piece. For this build, I didn't really measure where to put it, I pretty much just put my gun in there and lined it up to what fit the best. The box we're making today is large enough to hold a full size AR-15. 
The shelf divider doesn't have a specific measurement. We measured the bottom compartment to fit our AR-15. Once the shelf was in place, we made and added the shelf divider. Now we're going to add our hinges. We have a link in the description. There's no specific measurements for the cabinet hinges. We just evenly spaced them and avoided the pocket hole screws. Now we're going to head over to the drill press. We're going to use a 35mm Forzner bit to make a recessed space for the hinge. What we did for the back, we added two 1x10s cut to 36 inches each. For the union, we're going to put the hinges to the left side, and for the short stripes, we're going to put the hinges on top. Well, that's the gun cabinet build. I hope you guys liked the video. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we have some cool videos coming up. Congratulations again to Catherine Rubb. I hope you enjoy your flag. It came out awesome. What you want to do to hold your guns in the cabinet is buy some polyurethane foam. We'll link some in the description below. You'll trace your weapons, and then you will cut the foam out and place your guns inside. I recommend using some sort of adhesive to mount the foam to the back of the board. Thanks for watching this episode of JC Builds. Now I'm gonna go hang this thing on my wall. Hey babe, you wanna watch a movie? Yeah, I'll make some popcorn. <laughs>